even if he does not bring the things that our hearts desire, even if God doesn't answer your prayers or what you think you, you want for your life, like we are still going to worship him and follow him and not turn to this world. One day, probably about a year ago, I was volunteering, it was my day to do kids church. And so I was getting ready and Megan came in and she said that DHS was coming to speak about um, signing up to be parent, foster parents or adoptive parents. And I've always known that I wanted to be a mom and I've also always known that I wanted to adopt. Um, I just have a heart for it. And so um, also I had been praying and wanting to become a mom for about a year at that point. And um, so I just started crying and she said, you want to have a baby, don't you? I said, yes, but I've always known that I want to adopt and that I'm open to it. Um, this group of women that I do my Bible study with, they knew I wanted to be a mom and they knew that I had been praying for that and they had been praying for me. And one of my teachers, Tammy, she um, had all of these praises that God had done in her daughter's life. And um, it, there were like six back-to-back -back just answered prayers. And it was just so encouraging to me. And I was like, okay, God, I want to be a mom. You can give me twins. I don't care. I, you can give me, I, I want to be a mom and I don't care how it happens. Um, and so I was still praying a lot and everyone was praying with me. But still my actions and my life were on in line with God. And, God brought that to life when um, I was placed into a situation that was not good. And that could be a story for another time. But um, two days after I was in that situation, we started our Daniel Bible study. In it, she talks about how um, God handed over the people of Jerusalem. He handed them over to King Nebuchadnezzar because they were not living like God calls them to live. They weren't living and being set apart from this world. And I knew that that was from God and he was saying, you need to stop what you are doing. Stop living for this world and live for me. Um, and in the Bible study, she does a seven week Daniel fast challenge. And so I chose to do the Daniel fast um, seven week fast from alcohol. And after I started that, I started doing my Bible study daily. I was praying daily. It wasn't necessarily that I wasn't drinking alcohol, but it was more of I'm putting God first in my life and my focus is on Him and not things of this world. And um, it just totally changed my, my daily priorities. And then he changed my life after that. So about a week after I started my Daniel fast, um, it was probably 9.30 at night, um, Megan texted me and she said, hey, can I call you? I have to talk to you about something. And um, so she called me and she said, um, we have this baby. And um, I just didn't know if you'd be interested in trying to adopt this baby and I just knew this was from God. And I told her, I said, I've been praying for a baby. I've been doing these Bible studies and um, I know this is from God. So now we're in the process of opening our home and uh, we're still in that process. So there's a lot of waiting and there's a lot of prayer, praying and a lot of faith. But I know that this is God's calling for my life. and. However he uses me in this moment, he is with me no matter what. I, I know that he's with me in that song we sing at church all the time. There's another in the fire, it's so true because he is with us in every moment and I know that whatever comes from this, he has a better plan for my life than I could have ever chosen. And um, so I wanted to read this Bible verse, Daniel 3:18. Even if he does not, we want you to know, O King, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. God is with us even in the flames.
I have this amazing opportunity and it's an answer to my prayers, but if um, I'm not a mom for Sam forever, I know that God is with me and I will still worship him and I will still follow him because he has this in control, he has my life in control, and he has a greater plan for me than I could ever imagine. And even though it's going to, it would hurt, I know that right now this is what he's called me to do and um, he's with me through all of it.